Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to see how to integrate Bootstrap and set up the layout for our front end on the user side. So we will be setting the navbar and footer globally for all the files. Okay, so let's get started with it. So first, we can just go to our browser and search for getbootstrap.com. We can integrate Bootstrap in two different ways in our PHP project. One is the CDN link. You can just copy the CDN link and paste it in your project or you can copy the contents of this file and place it locally in your project. So let me show you how you can do this. First, over here you have index.php, right? Here we will just create a HTML. Okay, and this is the CSS link. And you have a bundle.js over here. Copy that and paste. Okay, so your bootstrap is integrated now. To test this, I will just create a button with the class btn primary and say hello. Okay, and we will just check the output. So you can see we've got the button design, but the color is not here. Maybe I made a mistake over here. Yes, btn primary, save and refresh. So you can see you've got the bootstrap design. And another way of integrating Bootstrap is you can just copy this link, paste it over here. And we just need this part, the href part and hit enter. You can see you got the contents. So we will just copy this. So we will remove the CDN link and create a folder over here called assets. CSS slash bootstrap min dot CSS. Okay. So inside assets, I have a CSS folder. Inside that, I have a bootstrap min dot CSS file. And here I can just copy this by pressing Ctrl A and copy and paste. Okay. Save it and you can close it. Similarly, create another folder inside this called JS in which we will keep the bootstrap js file copy this paste just keep the src path over here okay just take the file new file copy and paste it over here Here we will just link the CSS file and the JS. So in the href we have to give the assets slash CSS slash bootstrap min dot CSS and the script assets slash JS slash bootstrap bundle min dot JS. Okay. And over here you can go and refresh. You can see we still have the design. So now let us set the navbar and the footer. So go to getbootstrap.com and search over here for navbar. Okay. And you can see you have got many samples of navbar over here. We will take this one with the drop down link. And instead of directly adding it over here, I will create a folder called includes or partials you can keep anything and inside the includes folder i am going to create a new file called navbar.php and paste this over here you can see you have container fluid over here i am removing the fluid because i want the navbar to be in a container let me show you the output inside the body we are going to include the navbar say include function and the path that is includes slash navbar dot php okay save and refresh you can see we got the navbar and let me show you the difference between navbar in a fluid container and in a normal container 
so you can see it is taking the whole screen and I want to keep it inside the container so I am removing the fluid from here okay save refresh and over here inside the UL you can say margin start auto and this items will move to the right side okay yeah so this looks good and we can add a shadow to this here say shadow so this looks fine and we'll change this navbar text to car rental car rental okay save so our navbar is ready now we have to also make a footer so i will create another file called footer.php and one more file over here as the header.php so as we have this index.php and we have included the css and js over here we will not be including this in every file so we can just put this in the header and footer just control c and even we can take the navbar paste it in the header and this part can go in the footer okay so here you will have to include the say include includes header.php and over here you need the footer.php okay so you can see this makes no difference over here it is still working the same and now you can create multiple pages and use the same navbar same header and same footer so that's it in this video guys we have seen how to integrate bootstrap and we have created a layout setup so we can create multiple files and use the same footer header and navbar in our different files okay so if you have to make a change in one of the navbar so you don't have to go and change it in every file because it is centralized now okay so if you make one change and it will be reflected in all other files so that's it in this video guys please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you